So yeah, what are some of your best practices? Because like, that's not just for music, like that will carry over to anyone Mm -hmm. who's an entrepreneur, any type of business and industry. So what are some of your best practices? And also, how do you keep up with all that social media? Before you got on, we were just talking about like, we all trying to do a little bit more in the new year because it like, it gets away from you when you're doing the work. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 so I spend too much time on social media. I'll tell you that right now. I just, I spend a lot of time on there, but it's engaging with people. Right. So I try Mm -hmm. to be relatable. For, for the most part. That's how I do it. So like, I remember people used to hit me up like, oh man, I, I thought you were going to be such a dick and you said, what's up to you? <laughs> I, just, I, like, I, really just like, I look like a dick, like, you know, but I just reach out to people. I ain't better than nobody. I'm not, the, you know what I'm saying? I ain't better than mm-hmm. nobody. And they don't think anybody's better than me neither. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Like about money that you got, that don't even mean nothing, you know. And I've and I know people who got a bag, a real bag, mm-hmm. you know, funny. You know what I mean? I don't really treat nobody different than anybody else. And so my thing was always like really being personal with, with people who well, like people call them fans, and I don't even really like to say that. I just like to say like supporters, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I call, right, I call, right. I call my supporters. So I don't want to say fan because that kind of got a weird stigma, like, oh, he's a fan, fan, mm-hmm. he's a fan boy, and all this. But it's like those people are my are my real supporters because without without them, I'm just a regular, I'm just a regular nigga just putting out songs and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's until it's until people start to see other people like yep. talking to you like that. Mm-hmm. And start mm-hmm. talking to you like that. And so it takes it takes people who who aren't like scared to say, Oh, I like him, I like his music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to those people because it's like a weird stigma on 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 like um like giving somebody their flowers or giving them their credit mm-hmm. and saying I like mm-hmm. I like that. You know, and I've always been one of those people. Like I give I give back. Like if you took time to listen to my music and you do music, I'm check your stuff out. Mm-hmm. Oh damn, okay. Like you know, I've yeah, always been that type of person. Like, you know, I, I put somebody's CD in and listen to it. Mm-hmm. I give you a play and stream because I do kind of want to see, like, oh, okay. You know what's going on out here. So yeah. it's just it's just about reaching out. I just we feel like the same thing with the networking thing with the people who are business people. It's the same thing with your your supporters, it's customer acquisition. You gotta mm-hmm. be able to, you know, be relatable to people and, and, and make them feel comfortable. Nobody wants to spend money anywhere where they feel like weird about yes. it. Right. Yes. You know I mean? right. Like you gotta make me feel like I always tell people, like, man, just make me make me feel good and I won't have mm-hmm. a problem whatever price whatever price you need you know what i'm saying you go to a restaurant and they and they talking to you nice and they feed you your food comes mm-hmm. out hot right. and, and it's clean you, you usually give a real good tip you know what yeah. i mean for sure and so it's it's that type of situation like you just want to be relatable and, and be you and be authentic and be kind to people and not try to act like you better than nobody else mm-hmm. and i ain't never treated nobody like i was like better than them even if i came off that way because i know sometimes that Confidence comes off that way, but I don't feel like I'm better than nobody else. No matter what it is, even if I'm, even if you think I'm better than you or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? Like I'd never treat you like that. You know, mm-hmm. like, I feel like that's that makes people want to be more supportive sometimes. I'm like, oh, he's a cool dude, man. You know, he's a down to earth dude. He's just a regular guy trying to get to it. Like I'm just trying to, I'm just a regular dude trying to take care of my kids, man. You know what I mean? So that's why yeah. I was always, I think that's why people like to get mm-hmm. to have in with us because we was close. You could come to our show, we'll pull you up on stage for a shot in We like that with people. So they was like, Oh, they fun, they cool, they mm-hmm. damn right. us, you know. I mean, that's that's kind of where I think a lot of my support, like deep support, came from people like that. 